Welcome to my personal DNA journey. Using the advanced ancestry report from Explore Your DNA, I've traced the story of my Ashkenazi Jewish heritage. From ancient Israelite roots in the Levant to migrations through Italy, Greece, and into Eastern Europe. My modern DNA matches show where these ancestral threads persist in today's world. My top match is Samaritans at 36%. This strong match reflects shared ancestry with the ancient Israelites. Samaritans and Jews diverged after the Babylonian exile, but retained similar Levantine genetic roots. Italian Lombardi, 29%, and Greek Thessaly, 9%. Southern European ancestry reflects the Jewish presence in Roman Italy and Byzantine Greece, where Jewish populations settled after the Roman dispersal. Eastern and Central Europe, 15%. These represent later admixture as Jews migrated north and east, forming the Ashkenazi Jewish population by the High Middle Ages. And minor global matches. Tiny signals from North Africa and Asia are likely due to ancient trade or shared ancient ancestry, not recent lineage. My closest individual population matches by genetic distance are Ashkenazi Jews. Uh, my top match, my closest distance is Ashkenazi Ukraine at a distance of 0 0.0216. Also, I'm also very close to Ashkenazi Jew Poland, Ashkenazi Jew Russia, Ashkenazi Jew Romania, Ashkenazi Jew Lithuania, and Ashkenazi Jew Austria. Genetically, I close, cluster most closely with Ashkenazi Jewish groups from Ukraine, Poland, Russia, and Romania, confirming family history and historical settlement patterns. Now, let's explore my two-way admixture results from Explore Your DNA. Explore Your DNA also offered this two-way model of my ancestry using a combination of populations to best fit my overall profile. Here are the top results. Number one, 78% Sephardic Jew plus 22% Cossack Ukraine at a distance of 0 0.0178. Um, and the rest of the top uh, populations uh, are a majority Sephardic Jew and minority um, Eastern European populations. Now, these combinations don't mean I have Sephardic or Ukrainian parents. Instead, they're statistical approximations showing that Ashkenazi Jews share ancestry with both Levantine Mediterranean Jews and Eastern European populations. And uh, my um, highest percentage of Sephardic Jew is 80% Sephardic Jew, but I also get 92% um, Ashkenazi Poland in this combination. So again, Sephardic Jew in this model often serves as a proxy for general Jewish ancestry. Now on to my haplogroups, my Y-DNA and MT-DNA. In addition to autosomal DNA, I explored my direct maternal and paternal lines, each with its own unique story. My Y-DNA, R-FGC61403, belongs to the Ivanhoe Cluster, a rare Ashkenazi lineage with within R1B-U106. While it's of Western European origin, it entered the Jewish community during the early medieval period and became a founder lineage among Ashkenazi men. My maternal haplogroup, J1C14, is rare but present in Ashkenazi Jews and likely originates in the ancient Near East. Its undiverged nature suggests a lineage dating back thousands of years, possibly through Roman-era Jewish women 
migrating from Judea. One ancient match even comes from a Phoenician burial in Sardinia, dated to 600 to 400 BCE. Beyond the report, clarifying Ashkenazi genetic origins. Now, this is not part of the Explore Your DNA report. This is research, a cl research clarification and update. So before we wrap up, I wanted to clarify something from a previous video. My earlier estimate of Ashkenazi haplogroup origins may have underestimated the Middle Eastern and Israelite contribution, especially on the maternal side. Newer research paints a clearer picture. The revised Ashkenazi Jewish haplogroup ancestry mix is based on 2020's level data from WIFL, FTDNA, a family tree DNA, and also peer reviewed studies. The mtDNA is actually likely 55 to 65% Middle Eastern Levantine and 30 to 35% European, with 5 to 10% mixed, uncertain. The yDNA is likely 70 to 80% Middle Eastern Levantine, 15 to 25% European. And, five, and less than 5% mixed uncertain. Combined, this would make both the M, combined with the mtDNA and yDNA results, the combined haplogroups for Ashkenazi Jews would then be 65 to 70% Levantine, Middle Eastern, 25 to 30% European, and 5% mixed uncertain. Now let's get into the details. Let's start with the maternal haplogroups, mtDNA. According to this uh, update, uh, this revised update, the uh, maternal haplogroups, mtDNA for Ashkenazi Jews, would be 40 to, again, 44, 40 to 45 percent clearly Near Eastern. And that includes N1B1B, K1A9, K2A2A1. J1C14 and T2E 15 to 20% likely near eastern and which expanded in Europe for example K1A1B1A and 30 to 35% clearly european uh, such as H1U5 and HVO um, the, now the paternal haplogroups, Y-DNA, are, would be likely 70 to 80% Levantine. And that includes J1-P58, J2A, E1B1B-M34, and G2C. And tw the 25, 20 to 25% European would include R1B-U106, R-M269, um, uh, um, I1, and I2A, which likely entered via conversion during the diaspora. So what's the interpretation summary? Ashkenazi Y-DNA shows stronger continuity with ancient Israelite males. The mtDNA is more diverse due to founder effects and admixture. But most maternal lines still trace to the Near East. Past studies overemphasized European maternal origins. Newer research has corrected this. So what's the conclusion? What's my takeaway? When we look at both sides of the genetic story, the message is clear. Ashkenazi Jews are overwhelmingly of Levantine Middle Eastern origin about 65 to 70 percent of our direct line ancestry both female and female descends from the ancient peoples of israel and the near east european admixture exists especially from our long diaspora in italy the rhineland and eastern europe but the heart of ashkenazi jewish ancestry still lies in ancient judea and the surrounding lands Thanks for joining me on this exploration of Jewish history through DNA. If this resonated with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.
What does your ancestry reveal?